So for today, I got something new for you guys. We're going to be looking at Xur and we're going to be looking at Ada. This is going to be one of those like the end of the week type videos where we show you what they're selling. So that way you guys can pick it up because uh, most of these are in Ada because those are the ones that usually sell armor. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know. These are going to be super, super quick because I want them. I want these to be really fast so that way I can post them really fast and you guys have like a full day to like really think about if you guys want some of these pieces or not so mostly we're going to be looking at the armor and then we'll look at zero at the end to show you what he's selling as well so again let me know what you guys think other than that let's look at what ada is selling first so i have made a video for ada it is right here if you guys want to check it out i go through it a little bit more in depth than what we will here i'm not going to go through the shaders because again i made it in that video but needless to say these are the shaders that she's selling super super cool definitely super dope but for the armor set, it's going to be these right here. I definitely think you should pick some of these up. I, for the hunters, I think the chest piece is super dope. The helmet is also pretty cool. I just think in total, like everyone should always pick up all of the armors because you never know when a set's going to look really, really cool with a certain piece from that. Like specifically the boots for the Titans. Uh, I ended up doing a Mongolian look for that set and the boots were like the perfect fit because of the skirts on these sides because that is actually connected to the actual boots. Uh, and then the warlocks i think the helmet is super cool i think all of it is super cool it's just that i think the helmet i just for me is really really cool as for Zer, this is the armor that he's selling i definitely think you guys should pick some of these up to be fair though a lot of this armor doesn't change colors so be fair warned a lot of the pieces that have like the f for uh for future war call doesn't change color the yellow uh like wires on the chest piece for the titans and hunters don't change color and then for the warlock the red and yellow wires for the chest piece doesn't change color either so this is actually a lot of pieces that don't change color and if you want a better piece that actually changes color really really well you're probably going to go for the nessus one because the nessus one is literally this but just better so just go for the nessus set as for zur zur i'm gonna be real with you guys the Titans and Warlocks got dicked for armor. I think the Hunters got the best pieces with the arms, which is really, really cool. And then the chest piece, which is also really good. Uh, the other two are okay. They're not bad, but the Titan and Warlocks definitely got dicked hard for that. For the stuff at the top, exotics wise, we have Warcliff Coil, which is really good. Definitely a PvP one, but we have used it in PvE before and it has been really fun. But for me, I think I think of more of a PvP uh, for Warcliff. Uh, bombardiers which is really really good the rolls okay it's not that bad uh insurmountable skull fort which is okay definitely pick it up if you don't have it but it's it's pretty bad and then ophidian aspect which i not the biggest fan of uh the rolls is fine but like to be fair if you don't have it pick it up ophidians is fucking amazing and they're i think they're busted but i mean whatever for the weapons, we have Chroma Rush with Moving Target, Adrenaline Junkie. We have Nature of the Beast, Hit Fire Grip, and Dragonfly. We have Brass Attacks with Surplus and Frenzy. This is pretty good. We have Nezerax Whisper with Left from Gold and Adeptive Munitions. I don't know if they have the thing where you can... Uh, I don't I don't think it... Uh, what I'm thinking about is the uh, the thing where you can get the red, the red borders from it. Because this is a red border weapon. This is also a red border weapon. Uh, this one as well and it no this is from a different season so technically not a red border weapon we have Iclos threat detector and skin incandescent again i would probably pick this up pick three, these three up if you don't have the weapon schematics for it uh, just in case we can do it retroactively we have bump in the night with chill clip i'd pick this up just because of chill clip and then quick fang with thrash and on guard which i'm gonna ignore and then we have hawk moon with Killing Wind, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we have Dead Man's Tail with all this stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Again, I don't want to I don't want to do Zer videos just because they're too long. And uh, at least the way I did it was too long. And for these ones, I think it's much better because I give you a much more concise uh, overview of what everyone's selling. And I don't really kill myself when I'm editing because the Zer videos are annoying to edit. And to be fair, a lot of the time he was just selling the same shit for, uh, for like weeks. So at least in this way, I can show you like what Ada is selling and Zer selling. So that way I can at least make it worth it, at least in my head. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the formula? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.